Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make the miniature popcorn buckets. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is you need to download my template and I'll show you what the template's going to look like. Okay, so I'm going to put this on my website and then this is what it'll look like. This is the movie theater room box measurement so you can go ahead and cut those out and make the movie theater if you want to do that these are the showtime um plaques that you'll make and then this is one of the posters more posters and some extra little stuff with the reel and then here are the movie popcorn boxes you need to cut those out and print those and then they'll turn into being these little guys all right, and then here's a concession stand, the now showing with the movie times, and then the prices for adults, children, seniors, veterans, the little snap action card, and then another reel, and then this one is blank, so you can make your own. And then here's some tickets, some more tickets, so I guess if you have Barbie, you can use that one. If you have one twelfth, then you could use this one. And again, there's some more action stuff. And then here is some more stuff that you can kind of cut out and do whatever with. I don't know, maybe glue it to the front of your um, concession stand on the wall, whatever. I just thought I'd make some extra ones and put them on there in different sizes. But this is what we're working on today. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to cut these out. And the easiest way to do that is to just kind of go like this and kind of go around. All right, now with this part, I always cut the red line off and then I cut straight up here. And the bottom of this is a little tricky because of the way that I did the boxes at the bottom. But you just wanna kinda cut over, cut around and then go straight, okay? Now this is the point of the line right here. You just wanna make a box with the first one and a box with the second one. Okay, and then in the middle, you just want to cut that down the middle. So you should have two triangles and two boxes. All right, now with this end piece here, I like to cut it on a V. Well, like an angle, not a V. That way, it's easier for me to handle. And the easiest way to measure this to make sure that you're going to get it cut right is to bend this first one. Okay. Then take the second one and you want to measure it, and or not measure it, but hold it to where it lines up across the top. And then just give it a little squeeze along that edge to make that crease. Open it back up. Do the same exact thing again. Open it up. And again, make sure every time it's lining up with the top here. All right, after that, then you wanna take these sections and bend it. And then bend it again, all right? Open them all back up. Now, you need a glue stick for this part because it works easiest with a glue stick. All right, you wanna put a little bit of glue there flip it over and don't peel it off and rip it like I just did but anyway if it wasn't ripped okay so now you want to make sure that you have the two smaller ones on the inside And then the one square, so start out with a square, a small one, so they're both like sandwiched in between. And then you want to go ahead and then fold that over like that so that you have a square on the outside. Then this part here, it gets tucked underneath and into that section. Now, like I said, I pulled it up too quickly and I had too much glue on it, so it glued itself down, <laughs> this little Elmer's Bond glue is really good all right so now I want to just kind of press that down 
you can use like anything that you can um, just kind of like to get your finger down in there to make sure it all you know went together make sure that your box is level because if not when you do the next step it'll be wonky and it won't stand up correctly all right so what I've done is I've got it level and now I'm just gonna pour or not pour but squeeze some hot glue in here now I know it's a lot of waste but it makes it heavy so it doesn't fall over and that's the part that you want to keep and it also strengthens that plastic or that paper now one thing you can do um, if you have clear packing tape you can run it across it before you print it out or after you print it out and before you cut it out and if you do that then you will have um, a shiny exterior all right so that's how that's done now I'm gonna slide these back here now you have two ways to make popcorn you can ball up some paper using a hole punch and just kind of pretend that's what the popcorn is you know or you can use some clay and just make a bunch of little balls and poke at it now how I do my popcorn the easiest way and the simplest way without having to worry about bacon or anything is I crumble up a piece of paper okay then I take a little bit of yellow paint because I want it to have some butter on it squeeze it in there just like that I'm gonna mix it in because I want to make it runny And then it just gives it a little bit of a yellow tint. Let it dry. You want to do that all over, and you don't want to have it everywhere yellow. You only want it in some places. And afterwards, you want to take a hole punch, punch it out, and then ball it up. Now, this one I didn't do the yellow paint on, but I'm just going to kind of show you what the yellow paint will look like. It'll just kind of look like that a little bit where it has just a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white showing through and if you water it down the water will absorb into there okay now you want to make sure your paper is completely dry before you ball it up otherwise you'll just end up with a spitball and that won't be any fun now, if you want to go ahead and see what it looks like in there, that's kind of what it looks like. Okay. Now, if you want them to glue in there, um, you can obviously use a lot more hot glue and bring it all the way to the top and then just put the popcorn directly on top. But once you have your base done, if you don't want to waste all that glue, you can actually stuff it with some cotton or some paper and then um, glue the paper down and then glue your... Um, popcorn to the paper it's completely up to you but I mean they end up being a little hard this is the one I just did that's still soft so if you can see this one's still not hot but if you bring the paper all the way up or it's still not cool um, if you bring the paper all the way to the top and you have the glue all the way up here then it won't fall out so that's a thought. All right, so I'm going to finish painting this in various locations to get some yellow, and I'll be right back. All right, so if you kind of just go over it, you'll see how it'll have some areas where the creases are, and you just kind of dry brush it on. It'll actually leave the white where the crinkles are open. You want to do this to both sides. Okay, so I have some popcorn in here. I'm gonna just go ahead and line it a little bit with some hot glue. And what I also did was I balled up some paper and put it on top of the first glue block that we did. Now I'm just gonna kind of put this in here, making sure that it touches the hot part. And if you want to make some bigger at first to just kind of fill in the gaps underneath, you can. 
but that's entirely up to you. And like I said, you can make this out of polymer clay. Um, Sculpey, Primo, you know, anything that's bakeable, you can do that with. All right, just press it down in there, turn it upside down, make sure none falls out. And then you can just kind of layer where you want it to go a little bit at a time. Um, I would probably do hot glue versus the other glue just because it dries quicker. And the other glue might flatten your... Um, popcorn kernels. All right, another thing you can do too is you can peel it up and do like little bits like this if you don't have a whole puncher. Just make sure you ball it pretty tight because if not, then you're going to miss the opportunity to have equal size pieces or close to equal size pieces. And you don't want it to pop back out on you either. Alright, and just keep doing that until you get your popcorn filled. You see some white, you see some yellow. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's like pretty durable too. So, glue, a little bit of paper inside the hot glue, a little bit more glue, and then popcorn. That's how you layer it. So you have glue. Then I'll show you how I did that real quick so that you can see it. Not a lot, just a little bit in there. And then after you have it like that, let that cool. And then put hot glue again, and then layer it with your popcorn. Okay, so now you've taken the box, you've put it together, and it looks like this. Then you've filled it with hot glue just a, maybe um, a third of the way. You've stuffed your paper in here. You've balled up your paper and painted your paper with the white and yellow mixture, watered down paint. And then now you have your popcorn. Now to continue doing this, you just wanna go ahead and put some hot glue on there. Let it set up for just a quick second so that, um. It doesn't sink directly down in there and I would use tweezers to put the popcorn in there because honestly I literally just got a blister because I touched it I was trying to get it in there and I went a little too close and didn't realize I had my finger in hot glue so just use some tweezers because you're dealing with such small stuff it's really hard to see what you got there. All 
Keep filling it up just like that. Okay, so that's what the large bucket of popcorn looks like. Hot glue, paper, and paint. That's all you need it for this one. And then if you want to glue some popcorn on the side, you can do so to make it look like it's fallen out while they're sitting there on the theater. Because if you're anything like me, it always falls out. All right, um, stuff it with paper, glue it, stuff it, and then it'll save on your hot glue. So you definitely need a nice hard bottom at first to start with. Then you can do some glue and some paper, some glue and some paper, some glue and some paper, some more until you get it as full as you like. And then ball up a bunch of little pieces. But remember, you need to have the yellow and white mixture to make it look a little bit more realistic. And I'm just using the acrylic craft paint, a real little bit of it, and then that is it. All right, so to make a concession stand with a recycled box I just went ahead and took a watch box that's just kind of like this I cut off the bottom of it and now I'm cutting a hole around here in the shape of a rectangle okay so once I have it done I took a piece of recycled plastic that I had here and I'm going to put it inside of here now I gotta make it a little bit wider because the plastic is actually bending a little bit there Alright, so now once I have that, I want to see how much more room I have here at the top. And then I want to cut a little bit out of the top here so you can see down through it. Okay, so then you want to just kind of, kind of sand the edge down so it's not so rough. Should sand pretty smoothly because it is just cardboard. Okay, so once you have this in here like this, you can see through the top just a little bit. Then you wanna either tape it in place or glue it in place. I'm just gonna glue it in place because it would just be easier for me. But when you glue it in place, you probably are gonna to wanna to take and do it to where you can't see it the best. 
way um, would be like on the part that's not shown. Like just let some glue drip down in there. Not too much because it might melt the plastic. And then let it cool off. Okay, so now you want to trace it on to your cardstock of how it's going to be. Leave enough for a fold. Once you have that done, then you want to go ahead and cut. I don't want to use those scissors. You want to go ahead and cut right on your spot where it's going to be folded and then right here at the top all right now i'm going to lightly score this i'm not going all the way through Probably is best to trace this part first. I wasn't thinking when I did that. So now I've got to guess at it. Okay, so once you have it all done the way you want it to be cut out, then you can go ahead and put some glue on your base and you can make this out of wood very easily as well um, I'm just doing it out of cardboard because I want to try and do something that is something that everybody can do because not everybody has the tools to do the wood stuff so it gives them an alternative 